How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to me playing the Chieftain. Um, I haven't really done um, a full kind of playthrough session in the Chief. Um, I am not the best Chieftain player, okay? I'm not the best player in the game, right? The Chief is... Yes, it's OP, and yes, very, very good players are going to do stupidly well in it. However, I wanted to make this video because I feel like a lot of people are going to spend a lot of bonds on this tank and expect it to do miracles. It is not as OP as most people think. I'm not denying it's OP, okay? Far from it. But if, let's say for example that you're a player that gets around about 2,500 average damage in tier 10s. Um, if you get a Chieftain, you're probably going to average around about 3k. You'll get a little bit of a boost, but realistically speaking, it's not going to be suddenly you're getting 4,000 damage per game. And it's like that with any tank. In my opinion, the VZ and the Kran are much, much better for randoms than the Chief is. Especially the Kran. The Kran is probably the best randoms tank that you can possibly play at the moment. So, this is a video just for all of you that are going to get the Chieftain. If you aren't very good at the game. I mean, if you're already, like, stupidly good and you're in the top 4,000 people. I don't even know why you're bothering watching this video. Because you probably know how to play the game much better than I do. But, if you're going to get a Chieftain. I mean, at least I can show you how to play it roughly. First thing that you should do is load full premium APCR uh, because realistically speaking, what's the point of firing on all rounds? Uh, the only reason why I'm not is because I'm cheap and there should be bonded equipment on this tank. For randoms, I still recommend that you go for Vents Rama Vista because it's just the best overall that you can get out of the tank. And if you use a Vents Directive as well, you're going to get 500 meters view range, which is just ridiculous and very very nice dpm well i say very very nice dpm it's not the best on dpm but it gets okay accuracy and the rate of fire isn't too bad anyway we're going to play three games maybe four depending on how i feel and uh let's begin okay so we are on lakeville we do not have the good spawn for the valley if you've watched my video beforehand you know that the valley is pretty much dominated by this uh sorry this side of the map the north there's no real point of going Valley, um, even in a Chieftain. Like, you're not going to do much, uh, realistically speaking. We might be able to get a shot on this EBR, though. Mm, he's behind a rock. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, there's no point in us going Valley. Uh, we can side scrape in the Chief. It's not super good at side scraping, but... It's, I mean, put it this way, it's definitely not like a mouse side scraping, right? Where it's completely flat and it's really, really good uh, to like bounce showers off. However, the Chieftain does have this kind of hole where it curves outwards. So you could actually overangle pretty easily in this tank. Let's see if we can actually get a, uh, ooh, did, no, no, that wasn't, that wasn't that falling down. Do Mr. 430 you Nah. Put one into the really? That should have really penned. Okay. It's your thing, game. There we go. That one went in. Obviously with premium APCR that would have gone in. And we would have been up a quite a good amount of damage. That one just missed, so... I believe the 277... Where are you? Are you behind this bit? No, he's behind the actual wall. We can't spot them, which is annoying. But this side of the map really does have a... Uh, a few issues with uh, balancing. Load premium, go straight through the hole. Go load back to normal rounds. We're okay at the moment. Like, there's nothing really to worry about so far. Oh, 
All we need to do is just conserve our hit points for now, and then we should be good. Another thing, obviously, about the chief is that people will just focus it, no matter what. Even if it means going into a stupid position to get shots at it, people will just go and YOLO and focus the chief. Um, and especially Artie. Artie loves shooting the chief. That's the IS-7 that's peeking on that side there, but we don't really have shots at him. Which is really annoying. Okay. We can now push up a little bit. We push up and across, and hopefully... We'll be able to get some shots here. Mm. Premium rounds would have pinned that. Body should be fine premium here, to be honest. There we go. Track absorbs it. 140 might peak me now. I won't be able to see. It's free to free. It's not a turbo game, which is good for us. Really good for us, actually. It means that we can actually farm out some damage. The 430U won't rush that 5A because he has more DPM than the 430U. So it would be suicide if he does that. Don't know why they're trying to push around that way. We are fine at the moment. I'm going to kill this guy. Okay. I tried to help him out, but it didn't really work. To him. I want to try and get a shot at this 5A. I'll med it. Won't bother repairing it. Now we'll repair it. Kill. Good shot, Max. One into him, and now we can go around and try and kill this IS-7. We're not going to go around the back because it's not going to work. He should still be reloading for a little bit. Nice. Now we can bait him into shooting our tracks, maybe. Doesn't matter. Go forwards, avoid the artillery. And now we can switch back to standard rounds. Just wait a second. Just in case we're still spotted. We shouldn't be, but... Let's go to HE. Lovely HE rounds. Go back to normal rounds. I mean, maybe we can actually get something done here. I'm not so sure. I'm pretty sure RT's just going to eat us in a second. But we'll see. Our main job is to try and shoot this, so the E100 is in the cap, we're going to load premium because we need premium to realistically go through him, reliably at least. Yep, yeah, good shot, well done Max, you're really good at this game, just so you know. Absolutely fine so far. We can now go around to here and get some shots on these and we'll be hold down, which is good for us. We shouldn't need premium rounds to go through the lower plate. I think the crown's on reload. Nice. Crown should be on reload for a little bit more. One more into him. The crown will now peak. So we need to be careful of that. 
Gonna pre-aim and fire at here. Don't really know what the crown's doing, to be honest. We don't pen the top of it, which is annoying. Well, this is bad. Don't pen it. Okay, he's fired. This guy is now dead as well. But I can't do anything. Oh, man. We tried, but we didn't really have the team to support us. I think we did get an extra shot into the crown. I'm not sure. But we did try. I mean, there's potential that he can still win this. But I don't think he will. Not with our team play. Alright, so no blind shots. We get four kills. Um, yeah, it was pointless going to the uh, the valley. Like, everyone that went to the valley, I believe the 60TP went to the valley. But you can just see that the valley on this map is useless. You might as well just go to the city and then come back if you lose the valley. Um, that's the best way of getting damage out of the game. So yeah, let's continue into our next game. Right, so we are on Abbey. Um, yeah, not really... I'm sorry, right, please. Uh, not really a great map, I'm going to be honest. It's not really what you want to play in heavy tanks because it's just... I mean, in any tank, actually. Not just heavy tanks. Like, I really don't like this map overall. Um, it just doesn't flow very nicely. It doesn't... It's very, very stagnant in the way that you have to play the map. Um, but hopefully we can actually get to the tank that is over here. And then once we get there, we should be able to uh, farm people as they're crossing. At least that's the plan. So this tank here is what I'm on about. Hopefully we can actually uh, shoot someone as they're crossing. There is two artillery, which we need to be careful for. Lovely. Good first shot into him. Can't really do too much against this guy. Can we shoot this crown? Not really. It's going to be very, very hard for uh, the shot to hit that. Might as well not even bother. I mean, actually, we load HE because we can pen the Kranz Capola with HE. Yeah, I mean, if we hit it. I mean, we didn't even go where I aimed it there. 26. Missed. Okay, let's push up. We need to push up to uh, put some pressure on them. If we can get them to overpeak to shoot me, then that's even better. But we need to be... Yes, shoot the chieftain. Wasn't expecting that one to... Uh... Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that one to hit, but there we go. I wasn't expecting that one to hit. Jesus. Okay, now we push. We're going to get some tracking damage here. Oh, he's repaired it. Oh, well. Don't get any tracking for that. And the game's pretty much over because... Yeah. Our team's just better than the enemy. Load APCR for 907. Normal APCR will go through it, but it's not worth the chance, to be honest. STRV could be at the back of the map here. Also the uh, STB. Kill this guy. So the STR... Wow, the STRV is actually here. Which is interesting. 
We should really go down. We'll go down and then we can see if we can shoot some people from this angle. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, we could die here, actually. Nope, we're fine. Good shot into him. I mean, I want to aim for around about 4k damage if I can. Uh, per game. Uh, we're going to load uh, HE now to uh, shoot the batch out. Uh, he's, uh, he's all over there anyway. Okay, so we're not going to load HE to shoot the batch out, but we're going to load normal rounds to shoot the STLV because it's not going to make a difference if we use premium or standard. Maybe we can even try and track him, which would be nice, but probably not. No, I don't quite get the tracking shot in there. Um, okay, there's no point capping the base. Literally zero point. So we're going to go through the middle and hopefully we can shoot people if they're in the cap. I'm uh, going to load APCR for this, or premium APCR. Um, because the i7 is going to be a bit dodgy to try and pen, especially at a little bit more distance. So we'll see if we can actually... Uh, Pen him in a second. If we can get at least like one shot in, that'd be really, really good for us. He's actually nearly fully hold down, which is very annoying. 277 is going to kill him. Uh, we're not going to get any more damage in this game. I thought the i7 was going to be dumb, but he's not. Bounced. And he didn't. Rip. Yeah. So only 3.6k there. Um, obviously, I want to try and aim for 4,000 damage at least. Um, but overall, that's not too bad. Um, we're still on 4.2 overall for the session, so that's fine, honestly. Let's go into a third game. Okay, so we get Paris, which is a good map for this tank, um, or for any heavy tank in general, really. Uh, let's see what we can get done. Uh, the only problem with Paris is the dip, because if you go into this dip, you're pretty much dead. So you don't really want to go into the dip under any circumstance. Get that. But what we can do is side scrape on this corner and just wait for a second, put one into him, and any unsuspecting victims that may uh, arise from this area. Thank you. Put another one in. And now we've got a problem of our own team blocking us. Sometimes your own team is just worse than the enemy. I'm not really going to pen this Capola. Where did he pen? I think he penned here because it was over angled. There's a mouse there as well, which is going to be slightly annoying. Try and track him, which we do. If we can get some tracking on the mouse, that's actually going to be massive for us. I want to keep him tracked there, actually. We're using standard rounds, so it's not going to even cost us much. I know I'm getting shot by the 277, but it's fine, honestly. This is really, really good. <laughs> oh, he hates me. into him. Go and put one into him as well. And now we're going to move down to the, the dip because now is the time to push this. Now that we actually have momentum and we've got the team down here, we've destroyed two of these tanks so we don't really have to worry about them too much. 
Uh, Yapanzi 100 we do have to worry about, but... Yeah, this is going to be slightly annoying, but we'll see. Let the 279 go. Could put one into the low premium rounds because, you know, he's not using config. Always run config on your 279. Otherwise, that happens. Now, we are going to low premium now because it is going to be a bit of a bloodbath here. Uh, we need premium for these tanks, realistically speaking. He's going to be very annoying to try and deal with, actually, now that he's above us. Trying to keep an eye on this guy as well. Uh, 430U isn't a problem to me. Very nice. We shot him as he turned, which is good. Now, shoot this guy. Go back to standard rounds, because we don't need the premium rounds now. Oh my god, that's a griller. But I don't have HE, and I don't have time for intuition. I mean, I do have HE, but I don't have time to intuition it out. He would have gone back behind the building, so standard rounds is what is going to be used. Mr. 60TP. What? what an Interesting. Hmm... The problem is that I can't really push forward at the moment. I'm going to load HE because I think this grill is going to peak again. We just wait. Just wait for the griller. Although, actually, that. Go back to standard rounds now. Although, realistically speaking, probably premium rounds is going to be better at this situation. Put one in. Maybe we hit him. I don't know. I didn't see a splash uh, because I can't really tell with all the bushes and stuff. Nice. Go forwards with our HE rounds. Look to the left as well. We're going to only need HE left here. And we're going to actually go for the FE instead of the Griller. He could pen us, I know. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, I mean, it's worth the risk, but, you know. Uh, Alliance 14 completed with honours. Very nice. I'm trying to also do all the uh, the missions with honors, but it's going to take me a long time. <laughs> so yeah, 4.5k and we get 3k tracking, so it's just beautiful, really. Uh, yeah, really is. And we'll apply that. Uh, very, very good for the marks as well. Obviously, marks go up. We're back, we're at like 73 and a half, so not too bad. Uh, overall, we're averaging 4.3. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay, we're going to play one more game to round things off, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, we're on Minsk. Uh, not too bad. Uh, oh, there's a stock tiger too. I feel sorry for him. Um, okay, so let's go to the area over here, because this is the best way to play this map, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go a little bit more safer. And we go around like this and then we cut in because it's a little bit uh, less time that you're spotted. Uh, or at least hopefully. So let's see. We may take one or two shots for this. Nope, we're okay. Uh, 5100. Unlucky that we didn't actually hit him, but oh well. You live. It's fine. I'm going to tell our team to help us if they can. And try and find out where this 5100 has gone. Uh, although he's tier 8, he can still do some damage to us. Which uh, is not ideal, really. I'm 
pushing. I'm pushing because I need to get into this location. I need to own this area here. I'm going to try and track him. Although, I mean, <laughs> not really any point. <laughs> I've nearly done all his uh, health in uh, that shot anyway. And now we're going to track this guy as well. Okay, E75 has used the repair kit once, which is good information for us. And we completely hold down here. This is like the dream kind of scenario uh, for the Chief or Cran or anything that's just a good hold down tank. Um, this area right here is really, really good. Everyone's actually been spotted, so it's not worth me sitting here. Like, we should be pushing this. Like, I don't mean to be like... You know, rude or anything. Like, but, oh, no, 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 no. Please, friend, don't do that. We can kind of go hold down there, actually. You know what? Yes, I know. I'll take a hit. That's fine. He's gone back. Put one into this guy. I'm a bit worried about the M103. But we're okay for now. He's moved. We can now go and deal with the E75. Because he's actually just allowed this E75 to die now. Which is not really very sportsmanlike of him. <laughs> yeah, he's allowed him to die, has he, Max? Yeah, good shot. My bad aim. I can't really blame anything else, so... Go and side scrape on this corner. Mr. Whatever you are. Oh. Load HG. I mean, he's tracked, I think. Yeah. So, we're fine. We can just keep going. We just need to push this now. You don't need to mess around and do anything fancy. Just push this. Get some damage in. And get dam get damaging as much as we can. Okay, now we've just got a Leo to deal with and a Skoda and these people over here. So let's try and deal with them. I'm gonna try and be a little bit annoying by bounce uh, by like wiggling a hole. Instantly spamming five as soon as I hear spa sound detection because I really don't want to be stunned. Mm. He's dead. The Leo's gonna die before I can get anything out of him. Wow, what are you doing over there? Um, so yeah, 3.8k, it's not the best, but for a turbo game, I think that's about as good as you can expect, to be honest. Um, we went up in marks, so that's all that really matters. So again, not a bad game. Um, yeah, we even had credits in that game. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. So at the end of the session, we get 4.2k damage and 1.6k uh, added on top, so, you know, nearly, nearly 6k combined. Um, not quite though, so about 5.8 altogether, so it's not too bad. Um, and we're slowly making our way, and I do mean slowly, like, I, I will probably two mark this at some stage. Um, oh, I mean, I'm definitely going to end up two marking this once the mark requirements go down because everyone's going to end up with it on the auction and once the auction chiefs start rolling into battle this is probably going to drop if not by 600 average damage then maybe even like a thousand like it's going to drop quite dramatically um this 6.2k for uh, for 95 percent is going to go down a lot but yeah that is the chief um yes it is op like i'm not going to deny that but you can't expect to just do miracles with the tank. 
Um, the hull armor is actually quite weak in regards to uh, the upper hull here. Um, once you go, you know, fully up, then yeah, it's, you know, going to ricochet a lot. But as it slopes uh, down, as you can see here, that's actually quite quite weak. And also you can pen the lower plate. Um, but it's not, it's not like this, it's not the 279. And this is what a lot of people don't realize. The 279 is like stupidly broken, right? It doesn't have a lower plate. And if you use config, as you should be, because it does get blown up quite a bit. Um, and it also then repairs the tracks faster as well. If you don't, if you use config and stuff like that, it's just ridiculous. If you stuck an average player in a 279 and then made them play against tier eights, and then you've done this exact same in a chieftain, the person would get more damage in a 279 because tier eights can't do anything against a 279. This thing is the most broken tank against tier eights in the game. Yes, the chieftain is super, super good hold down, but it needs to be hold down because if it's out in the open, the chances are you're just going to die in it. I am not saying that the chieftain is bad, okay, and that it needs a whole buff. No, no, okay, this thing needs to be nerfed. It needs a bigger capola, right? In my opinion, they should actually replace the chieftain with the Mark VI, just straight re replace every single person's uh, T95 slash FE4201 and just replace it with the Mark VI because the Mark VI is actually insanely good and it's balanced, unlike this. So I hope this was informative to you. Um, and if you do pick one of these up, then hopefully you learn a thing or two about how to kind of play it. Again, it was aimed at more people that are just average at the game not some super unicum in a top clan that is going to do even better than me because I know I'm not the best and if you are one of those people I don't know why you watch me because I don't think you're going to get anything out of it but hopefully you did enjoy if you did then make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it does all help me out greatly and I'll see you all in the next video